Hello and welcome everyone. This is your guide, Ryan Phoenix. Today you climb back on board the bus for more Creeptober and more Let's Tour Maniac Mansion. Alright, we last left off here in jail, essentially. They're in the dungeon of the mansion. They're thrown in here by Nurse Edna, both Bernard and poor Dave here. But sadly, only one of them can escape alive. Or well, and one of them can escape right now there. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way over this way. And if we look closely, oh, there's a loose brick. Oh, I wonder if we can do that. Maybe we can take it out of the wall and make our daring escape there. Or perhaps it's a secret button. So now we can have, ah, well, <laughs> yeah, let's do that a little bit faster this time, Ryan. <laughs> okay, push the brick, new kid. Bernard? No, new kid Bernard. <laughs> ah, well. <laughs> Alright, let's not fail this time. That'd be awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I'm failing you guys here. Alright. Bernard. And go through the door there, Bernard. Alright. <laughs> and Bernard is free! Huzzah! The real manly man of the team here. And I didn't want to bring him out too, too soon here and scare you guys off with his unbelievable manliness. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's overwhelming. But but bear with me here, guys. Bear with me. <laughs> Alright. Now that we have Bernard, we're gonna go ahead and go into this room there. Like the little family room, I suppose, here? Yeah? Alright, well, we're not gonna explore this room just, uh, just yet. Not quite yet. Uh, for now, we're gonna go ahead and go onward down to the next room. Which is yet another dark room. <laughs> yeah, they like doing that there, but you know, it's easy enough to find find the light source there, just uh, look around eh, with your arrow there. So, you know, not a big deal. And we're here in a, in a library of sorts there with a staircase, but uh, let's go ahead and take a quick read of the sign here. Staircase is out of order. Don't know how a staircase can be out of order, but yep, you cannot go up the stairs. <laughs> just so you know. Now we have a telephone here. Huh, well, let's, let's go ahead and use a phone. Maybe we can call the police. Uh, appears to be broken. Oh, okay. Well, apparently we can't do that there, but uh, I didn't know something there, huh? A, a loose panel? Well, let's pop that loose panel open there and reveal a cassette tape, which we're gonna go ahead and grab. Alright. Now, that's all that we can do here in the library for the time being there, but huh, we're gonna keep that phone in mind for later. Or uh, maybe we can do something to get that working. Hopefully. Alright. Uh, here we got ourselves a couch, a glass chandelier, some windows, and more importantly we got ourselves a radio over here. Old fashioned radio. Well, let's pop that open here. Alright, and being the nerdy <laughs> uh, geek that he is there, Bernard is the only person that can really work on these electric <laughs> sorry, on these electronics and such like that there, so uh, other people can pop this open there, but now oh, there's a radio tube in there, and that radio tube could certainly come in handy there. Let's go ahead and grab that. And Bernard is the only one that can put that radio tube to use there, just so you know. Now we got ourselves a cabinet here with a cassette player. Oh, okay. Oh, well, might have to play some tunes in here, but not right yet. Not just yet. Soon enough, though. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and make our way upstairs now. And now, we will enter the entertainment room. Okay, alright, well, now we got ourselves a cassette tape there. Let's go ahead and put the cassette tape in the cassette recorder. Alright, my apologies there for that interruption. Alright, let's get back to this here. You know, we got the cassette tape in the cassette recorder now. So, uh, I want to play, play a little bit of music for you guys here. How about that? Let's go ahead and go to use and... Uh, where is it there? We have the record here. We're going to put the record on the Victrola here. Uh, one thing we got to remember here, you know, if you got to record something in, you got to turn on the recorder. That'd be a good start. Alright, it is recording. So let's... Let's, let's mellow out to some tunes here, shall we? Oh yeah. Be sure to buy my, my CD there. <laughs> Look me up on iTunes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and get the cassette tape out here. And, uh, man, that was quite the 
piercing screecher managed to shatter the base. But what else can we use that for? Hmm. Well, there was another place that had a cassette player. Hmm. Let's go and make our way back downstairs. And over to this room off to the side, into the living room. And now that we got this recording here, let's go ahead and pop the cassette tape into the cassette player. And let's turn it on and see what happens. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. All the windows shattered and the... So the uh, chandelier. Let's go ahead and turn this off here. <laughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> and uh, inside of the chandelier we have the old rusty key. Huh. Alright, well, uh, well, we're gonna leave Bernard right here just momentarily. Let's go ahead and grab our good buddy Wendy. And we're gonna get a few things with Wendy first before we move her anywhere. So grab these before, but you know, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, use the glass jar here in the swimming pool. Okay, alright, we fill up the glass jar with some pool water. That'll be important later on. <laughs> and now we're gonna make our way back through the kitchen. Let's go, Wendy. And this is something I could have picked up quite a while back, but you know, <laughs> just did not. But now we're gonna go ahead and grab that can of refreshing Pepsi. Not sponsored. <laughs> Alright, and nothing else that we need to do here right now. So, let's go ahead and head out here. And now I am going to go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and push the gargoyle head here for a moment. And grab old, grab old Bernie here. And make our way back downstairs. Because now that we have the old rusty key there, maybe we can put it to some use. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Uh, let me see here. Go ahead and go up to the old rusty key and let's try it on this door. Pop. Alright. Now we can go ahead and get Dave out of jail. Yes, the door is open. <laughs> and it does close every time that you leave the dungeon there, so just so you know. <laughs> Not that we need to get Dave out of there for any real purpose for the time being, but eh, well, we're gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and have Dave make his way out of there and outside for the time being. All right. Now, what do I want to do? Hmm. I could switch over to Bernard for now. Uh, hmm. Yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead and have Bernard head this way. Yeah, he's gonna. Or, hmm. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna take Bernard upstairs real quick there. I want him to go pump up at the. <laughs> at the Hunkomatic there, so. Yeah, I'll be right back with him. Alright, we're back downstairs. I didn't feel like you guys need to see me run all the way back upstairs for, <laughs> for however many times now. <laughs> so just go ahead and cut that out there, and now with Bernard we're going to make our way back to the swimming pool where Wendy just was. Yeah, I could have just kept Wendy there, but you know, eh, it doesn't really matter. Not a big deal. There's another reason why you want to have somebody that's gone through the tough training that Dave and Bernard have. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're gonna switch back over to Dave now that Bernard's over there. And, oh, uh, well, you know, we do have these bushes here. And there's something, something behind there, so let's go ahead and give those bushes a good old pull. See if we can uproot them there. Uh, click on it, right? There we go. Alright, pull those bushes out of the way. Now we see we have a grating here, huh? Well, let's go ahead and try and see if we can pop this open here. Come on, what, why isn't it working? There we go, easy. <laughs> Alright, pops it open there. Uh, I do believe that if you only use the 
uh, hunk them at once, then you're able to pull the bushes out of the way, but the grating is still too hard for you to, to open up. But uh, doing it twice there, you can get, get done there. Oh, and we have a puddle developer here. Huh, this must be right underneath the, the room there. Yeah, there's a floor grating right there. So there's right underneath that little storage room in the back of the... from behind the kitchen there. And here we have a water valve, huh? Okay. Uh, well, now what can we do with this? Can we open the valve? Or is it that we want to close the valve? Close? No, we want to open it. There we go. Oh. Something happened. Oh no! The pool is empty again. We're going to have another meltdown! Another one? Does it happen often? How can I take over the world when I'm on a budget? I always get stuck with cheap equipment. You and me both. <laughs> Boy, the meteor's gonna be mad! Tentacle! Front and center! Yes, sir, Dr. Fred, sir. Purple tackle at your disposal, sir. Quick, go check out the re reactor. Yes, sir. And off he goes. Alright, so the purple tackle is apparently uh, Dr. Fred's right hand man. There, but let's go ahead and switch over to Bernard. And yeah, we can see now the swimming pool is empty. Alright, so let's climb down the ladder here. Huh. A few things here. We got a red button, uh, some exposed cooling rods there. Like, ah, uh, some. Yeah, that doesn't look very, very safe there. Radioactive slime? Yeah, that doesn't sound safe at all. Well, let's go ahead and quickly grab a few things here. As we can see, the purple tentacle checking in on the reactor there and turn on the light even though it was already on. Hmm, there's no one here. And turn it back off. Dang it. I'm going to turn that back on next time I go downstairs. <laughs> Alright, but first, grab this glowing key. Uh, what is going on? Like, I'm pressing the button there, but it's not responding right. I don't know why it's not doing that right there. And we'll grab the radio. And that's all that we want in here. So let's go ahead and climb back out here. And we do have a time limit there, as Dr. Fred insinuated there. The pool being... Uh, drained apparently will cause a meltdown of sorts there, so we don't want that to happen, so let's go ahead and close that, that valve back up there. Alright, now the pool has been refilled, so no more meltdown. Hooray! <laughs> but we got what we needed out of it there, so alright. Good enough. Good enough. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over to... Uh, yeah, we'll switch back to Bernard there. He's in a good place there, because now we're outside here at the garage door that we couldn't budge with poor Wendy. But big, strong Bernard, yeah, beefy Bernard, is able to open it up there after using the hunk o <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, he does have the key. Alright, well, first things first, we see on the shelf here, we see a water faucet handle. So let's go ahead and grab that. We got a cement slab, huh? That's Odd. There, is that anything? Huh, it won't budge. Hmm. Okay. Well, now we got this car here, the Weird Edsel. <laughs> nice. Uh, I Heart Ed bumper sticker. <laughs> Edsel license plate there, and we got, uh, what is this here? The Modified Rocket Engine. That sounds awesome. <laughs> but, alright, we do have the yellow key with Bernard there, and that will allow us to get into the trunk. Alright, and inside the trunk we have some tools. Alright, that sounds like that could come in handy. Let's go ahead and grab the tools there so that we got some things that we can fix around the house here. <laughs> and just be careful there that this glowing key can, the, not glowing key, the yellow key can also start up the uh, the car here, and we don't want to do that yet. So <laughs> just be careful to make sure to use it on the trunk to open it and not on the, uh, the modified rocket engine. <laughs> All right, now we got we got ourselves in pretty good shape here now, so we're gonna go ahead and make our way upstairs with good old Bernard here. Okay, let me see. Do I have everything that I need with him? Hmm. 
Alright. Uh, actually, there's one other thing that we can do before we go upstairs. One thing that we can fix down here. Ah, uh, well, hmm. No, we actually want to go upstairs before we do that. Sorry, sorry, just trying to think of everything in order that we need to do here. <laughs> Alright. So back upstairs we go. And, well, uh, we're about running out of time here, so I'm going to go ahead and duck in here, and we're going to call this an episode. So next time, we'll continue upstairs, and we'll continue on with the tour of the Maniac Mansion. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like or comment below. I appreciate it as always, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, guys, stay gold, YouTube.